Hey guys, it's Lauren at Radio World in Toronto here, and I want to talk in this video about Anchor Wire, why you should upgrade to it, and most importantly, how you can strip this outer sheathing off very easily. So there's a lot of benefits to upgrading the wiring in your boat to heavier gauge wires with the modern uh, electronics that we're all running and the power demands that they have. But one of the biggest questions we get asked is on these thicker gauge wires like the 8 gauge and 6 gauge is how do I strip off this outer sheathing? So we're going to get to that in the video. If you want to skip ahead to that, use the chapter selection down below and you'll be able to skip right to that section where I give you the tip on how we do it here. But before we get to that, I do want to talk a little bit about the wire and why we need to upgrade to it. There's a couple ways that you can purchase this from us. We do sell bulk spools. We also sell it by the foot. So if these are 50 foot spools of eight gauge, if you need 27 feet, we can spool that off and sell it to you by the foot. And then you can create your own custom wiring to accommodate the needs on your boat. Now, if you don't want to get into any of that, the best option we have for you is these pre-made harnesses from a company called SeaClear. These harnesses will fit just about any bass and walleye boat on the market today, whether fiberglass or aluminum, and you're able to customize this with up to three electronics at the front, with live scope and 360, as well as two electronics at your console. So these systems are great. They're a complete system, prefabricated, so you can literally just run it through the boat, connect up the electronics you have, and you're ready to go. Now, if you're more of a DIY type person and you need something maybe custom made for your boat for the unique application that you have, like I say, we do sell this wire by the foot. Stripping out the outer sheathing on these small gauge wires is usually not a problem. There's actually commercial tools available that have a special groove in here, just like for household wiring, where you can basically put the entire piece in, uh, pinch it down, you strip the outer jacket, but it will not damage the inner wires. So that's the easiest way on those. Now, when we get into these thicker gauge wires, unfortunately, I haven't found any commercial tool that will allow us to do that. Honestly, it can be quite of a struggle. So what I wanna show you now is the way that I recommend you do this. But I've had to pull a lot of the sheathing off these wires to, uh, to rig up some harnesses this year on boats. And this method that I'm gonna show you definitely is one that's proven. So I've got a length of eighth gauge wire here that I've cut off and we're gonna strip these back to expose the positive and negative leads to allow us to connect to battery, fuse panel, whatever it might be. So basically, the tool I'm gonna to use for this is just a multi-tool. You can use whatever you want. The main thing is the knife and then the pliers. Those are the two portions of the tool that we're gonna be using. We're gonna start with the knife. What we're gonna do is measure the distance we need. So in this case, I need about a foot of cable. I'm gonna just get the cable to lay flat. If it helps to throw the bulk of cable on the floor, wherever it might be, just so it's, it's laying flat, it's not gonna curl up and hinder you. I'm just gonna take the knife and just score it at the length I need. I'm not cutting right through the sheathing, I'm just scoring it. If you, if you slightly go through, it's not a problem. You just obviously don't wanna puncture the red and black leads in there. So, got a very small score in that line all the way around. If it's not perfect all the way around, that's okay, but uh, that's the main thing. Now the next part, I'm just gonna, again, score it along the upper surface here, all the way up. Doesn't matter if you do the positive or negative side. Again, we're, we're just scoring it, we're not cutting right through. Just choke up on your blade, have it on a good surface, and just follow the contour of that blade, trying to keep it as straight as possible as you go. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly pretty, but when we get to the end here, I'm gonna push a little bit harder to break that sheathing, just like that. Okay, and now I can expose that. Now with my pliers, what I'll do is just pull that back a bit. You can use your fingers here as well, but you get a little bit more leverage with the pliers. Grab the tip of one of the leads. You can pull it out, and if you're able to just pull it back along that score you made. When you get to your stop cut where we scored, it'll stop and then you can just peel all around. Just like that. Your outer jacket's off and now we've got a nice clean cut on those wires. We've got no damage to the, the wire internally here. 
we can go ahead and put our connectors on to go to ring terminals or whatever it might be to connect up our electronics. The outer jackets on these cables are a pain to remove, but if you follow that method just by scoring it, you definitely have great results every time. So hopefully this video has helped you out with this Anchor cable. If you are looking to purchase it and when you're within Canada, visit radioworld.ca where we'll have a link in the description for that so you can see the different links we carry in bulk or by foot. And we'll also have a link for those C-Clear harnesses we sell as well. Thanks for watching this video and please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you get more content like this.